Here in eastern Oregon, we harness the energy of powerful winds that bluster through the hills and mountains, but we also harness the energy of a resource that is not created by nature, but instead by man, household garbage. What you see behind me is an Inintex Plasma Enhanced Melter, or PEM as we call it, located at Waste Management's Columbia Ridge Landfill near Arlington, Oregon. Instead of burying or burning waste, this breakthrough technology uses a plasma arc and molten glass bath to rearrange the atoms of virtually any waste, even hazardous waste, into molecules of clean fuel or other high-value products. We'll go down and take a tour of the PEM, but first, here's how it works. The PEM technology converts waste to clean fuels and other products in a multi-step process. First, the waste enters the pre-gasifier. Here, partial oxidation gasifies some of the waste. The partially processed waste then drops into the PEM chamber, where it lands on the surface of a molten glass bath. There, an electrically generated plasma arc heats it. Inside the plasma arc zone, the temperature can reach more than 10,000 degrees. These high temperatures break the chemical bonds, allowing the atoms and molecules to be recombined and converted into useful materials. The inorganic compounds dissolve into the glass bath. The metals are drained from the bottom, producing a recyclable alloy. All of the other inorganic material is combined and chemically bound into a glass-like substance which can be used for environmentally beneficial products. But most of the waste in the PEM is converted into synthesis gas, the basis for clean, renewable fuels. First, the gasifier and then the plasma arc release hydrogen-rich synthesis gas from the organic material in the waste. The synthesis gas is then passed through a multi-step cleaning process. The synthesis gas, rated as ultra-pure, can be converted into ethanol, hydrogen, and other fuels. The emissions from the PEM system meet stringent U.S. EPA emission standards. Our PEM facility recycles municipal trash from Portland into ultra-clean syngas, which is then processed into valuable hydrogen. Let's take a tour of the PEM facility and see how it works. The waste transformation process begins here. Waste from all over the Northwest is delivered to this building, our waste receipt and handling building. We begin by shredding the material and then deliver that material to the PEM in a series of conveyors. As the shredded material moves over the conveyor belts, ferrous metal is removed with a magnetic separator. The conveyor behind me transfers the waste material from the waste receipt building up to the top of the PEM process. After the waste is transferred to the top of the PEM, the first process involves a pre-gasification step in this vessel. The material that is not gasified in the pre-gasifier moves into the PEM, where it is exposed to temperatures as high as 20,000 degrees Fahrenheit and converted into ultra-clean syngas. The gas that exits the PEM is further conditioned in a number of process steps so that it can be converted into fuels and other valuable chemical products. The fraction of the waste that is not gasified in the PEM process is converted into an environmentally safe glass that can be put to beneficial use, such as building materials and road aggregate. All of the process steps that you have just seen are monitored and controlled from this control room to ensure the optimal performance and safety of the facility. Inatech PEM technology is not only environmentally beneficial, it's a great revenue model for owners and operators. While well, raw materials or feedstocks are significant costs to most processing operations, PEM operations use waste products as their feedstock. In fact, the PEM operator gets paid by municipalities, manufacturers, or other waste producers to accept their wastes. The PEM then transforms these wastes into valuable products and are sold into high demand markets.